Hello guys and welcome back to a new War Thunder video. In today's video I will be going over ground realistic battles tips and tricks that I have learned or came across throughout my long journey playing this game. Some of you might come across things that they already know and some might not so. If you purchased a new premium vehicle and you are still new to the game, I would highly suggest that you stick to the video. However please know that those tips will not instantly make you better at the game. This game is time rewarding so in other words you need to know the maps, the tanks or the jets you are driving or fighting. I really hope that everything I am going to mention is gonna help you with your gameplay and make it more fun for you. So without any further ado let's jump right into it. Tip number 1. Engine Volume Go over to Options and head towards Sound. Make sure to decrease your engine volume all the way to minimal and to increase other players' engine volume to the max. Doing so will allow you to hear players from a far distance rather than just hearing your own engine. That way you can know where they are coming from rather than just getting surprised. Works well in ground realistic battles. Tip number 2. Grass and Tank Sight Turning this off will remove the grass whenever you go into sniper mode. This is very helpful especially for people who want to snipe. Here's a small demonstration of the difference while having the option to on or off. Notice that I am not moving and I am in the same position aiming at the tank. Tip number 3. Gun Stabilizer Most of the early American tanks in games such as the Shermans are equipped with a gun stabilizers which only works while you are under 25 km per hour. This problem can be easily overcome as to press E just once. E will put the tank in the first gear which is basically like having a cruise control for your speed. That way you can stay below 25 km per hour which allows you retain your gun stabilization. Tip number 4. Repair costs in arcade are less. If you are low on money, give arcade battles a go. In arcade battles, repair costs are lower than realistic battles. Games are much more fast-paced and it is easier for newer people who are still not experienced. Tip number 5. Auto repair off. If you are low on money, try turning off automatic repair. That way you don't have to spend silver lions on vehicles that has very high repaired costs or on vehicle that you wanted to try once. You can manually repair vehicles that you use on a daily basis or you can just leave them to repair on their own. Tip number 6. Modification bonuses. When all modifications in a tier or a row are unlocked, an amount of vehicle research bonus is awarded. The award corresponds to 20% of the total RP cost for that tier. So for example if there are 6 modifications of 10,000 RP each 60,000 RP in total, the award will be 20% of all that which is equal to 12,000 RP. This is just for one row. And once you are done with all modifications for a certain vehicle you will be awarded with more RP. This works on all types of vehicles. Tip number 7. Study the tanks. Take the time to research and understand the tanks available in the game. Familiarize yourself with their historical characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses. Knowing your tank's armor thickness, firepower, and mobility will give you a better understanding of how to utilize it effectively in battle. Use resources like the in-game tank viewer, historical sources, and player guides to gather information on different tanks. Tip number 8. Commander Fire Control A lot of people don't use this but it can be life-saving. If your gunner is dead, you can switch to your commander's fire control by pressing only one button. He will take over and will be able to use the main gun. Make sure to assign a button for it. Tip number 9. Binoculars this is extremely important if you are planning on becoming better in ground battles. Sometimes you are behind cover or even behind a hill and you can't tell if an enemy tank is there or not. You can always use your binoculars to look over a cover without worrying that you might get shot. Tip number 10. Joining active games. If you are always joining active battles, you might want to consider turning this option to off. By turning this option to off, you will no longer join already active games but keep in mind that the time to find a game can increase so you will be waiting more than the usual. Tip number 11. Crew points. Crew points are an essential part of your gameplay. Focus on upgrading field repair and reload speed before upgrading everything else. Keep in mind that some tanks have an auto loader so upgrading reload speed won't make any difference at all. To check if you have an auto loader just hover over the primary weapon and it should say automatic. Most Russian, French and Chinese top-tier tanks have an auto-loader. Tip number 12. Set squad pings. Many people go over this but this might be one the most important tip out there. Setting this option on will help your squad members by ping an enemy location for them. It is really helpful if you are playing in a squad or with group of friends. This is an example of me getting shot and not dying. I managed to ping him to my squad member who was nervy. He was more than happy to blow him up. Tip number 13. Ammo in top tier tanks. Some tanks have first stage ammo stowage which allows for quicker reloads when shells are in that specific part of the tank. 
However, placing more of the required ammo will put your tank at a greater risk of ammo detonation. You can check your tank's ammo by hovering over the ammo while in X-ray mode. Don't be that guy who fills his tank up with the maximum amount of ammunition. If you are playing in high tier tanks I would suggest taking around 16 to 20 rounds of Sabot with the highest pen obviously. Tip number 14. Switch IRCM off. If you play with a vehicle that has IRCM make sure to turn that off because not only you are going to expose your position to the enemies but you will also expose your team ants positions as well. Make it difficult and bad for everyone. Tip number 15. Fill out your lineup. If you are playing ground realistic battles make sure to fill out your lineup. Try to have at least 2-3 to three tanks and 1 cast. This way you will be able to spawn more and do more per game which will reward you with more RP and a silver. Please don't be that guy who has one tank and leaves after one death. Tip number 16. Weak points. Every tank in the game has weak points and every tank also has impenetrable points which means you have to fully know the tank you up against in order to know where and how to shoot him. The best advice I can give you is that if you don't know where to shoot the enemy, shoot his cannon barrel and then worry on where to shoot him. You can always go to armor and protection and test out shots on every Sinal tank. Tip number 17. Expert Qualification. If you like playing with a certain vehicle I would highly suggest investing in an expert crew qualification. What it does is that it increase every single skill on the entire crew by a certain amount of points. It is really helpful since it can make you reload your gun much more faster and it can also really improve the speed of the repair while you are damaged. Have expert qualification on almost all of my top tier tanks and trust me it saves lives. Tip number 18. How to know if it's an up tier or a down tier. If your medium tank spawn cost is 150. That means it's a full down tier. So if you are 11.0 that means you are facing 10.0 while if your medium tank costs is 100, that means it's a full up tier. So in short the more you pay to spawn the more it's a down tier. And vice versa for up tier. Heavy tanks and spas have different values. Make sure to check it before spawning in. Tip number 19. Angle your tank. If you are playing at low BRs I would highly suggest that you angle your tank whenever you face an enemy. Putting your tank armor in the right angle against enemy fire can make the difference between dying or winning. You can always test this out in the hangar or you can also test it out with a friend. Tip number 20. Boosters. Instead of purchasing boosters with golden eagles, did you know that you can boosters for free every day? You can try out playing Assault Ground Arcade which is literally ground PvE. Once you complete it you will receive a free booster that could either be Silver Lions Booster or RP Booster. Tip number 21. War Bond Shop. Make sure to check out the Warbond shop every now and then, you can purchase backups, boosters, decorations, decals and even premium vehicles, to unlock more things and to get more Warbonds currency. All you have to do is rank up your battle pass and do the daily challenges and the special task. And yes it is completely free and rewards change every 90 days therefore if you didn't buy anything you can save your Warbond currency for the next change. Tip number 22. Map Awareness. Develop a solid understanding of the maps in the game. Study their layouts, key landmarks, and strategic positions. Knowing the terrain and potential ambush points will help you plan your movements and take advantageous positions. Take note of choke points, hills, forests, and buildings that can provide cover or vantage points. This knowledge will enable you to outmaneuver your opponents and gain the upper hand. I really hope that you guys found this video useful and I do hope that you have learned something new. Creating such videos takes so much time and effort so a like, share and a subscribe would really mean the world. Thank you and have a nice day.